Welcome to the Lansing Connection. I'm State Senator Nancy Cassis and very pleased to represent the citizens of Western Oakland County in the State Senate. Most of these communities you know of, they range from West Bloomfield all the way through Milford and on up to Holly and everything else in between. And as you know, also I reside in Novi. I'm very pleased today to bring to you a very special guest, and his name is Jay Wortley. He is a senior economist with our Senate Fiscal Agency, and as a state senator, and even before this, as a state representative, I have to tell you that I relied greatly on the services of our House Fiscal Agency and now our Senate Fiscal Agency. So I'm pleased to bring to you one of our experts, and he's going to share with us something about the Senate Fiscal Agency, and then we'll get into some more details about the state of Michigan and its budget and where we're headed. So Jay, let me welcome you to the Lansing Connection. Thank you, Senator. It's great to be here. I'm glad to have you. Jay, tell us a little bit about the work of the Senate Fiscal Agency, its mission, mission and what it attempts to uh, do for those of us, not only in the Senate, but I think you have even a farther reach, but share with us a little bit about the magnitude of this agency. Okay. Yeah, I work for the Senate Fiscal Agency. We are a nonpartisan agency. Mm -hmm. We serve both the Democrats and the Republicans. And our primary uh, task is to uh, provide assistance um, to the senators on budget or financial issues. We help staff the uh, Senate Appropriations Committee, and uh, we've got people in our office that are experts on every area of the budget in terms of the spending side. And then there's a couple of us that are economists, and we're specialists on the revenue side of the budget, and we help staff uh, and assist committees such as yours, the, the Senate Finance Committee, in dealing with uh, tax issues. Mm -hmm. um, some of the responsibilities I have as an economist are to uh, analyze legislation, uh, that the Senate is going to take up uh, dealing with tax issues and give them an idea of uh, how much it's going to impact the budget, uh, whether it's a tax uh, increase or decrease or, or something like that, or fee, fee change. Um, so we analyze tax legislation. Uh, we also have to uh, estimate uh, the future. We have mm -hmm. to estimate the economy mm -hmm. because we have to know what the economy is going to do because one of our important tasks is to estimate how much revenue will come in the state over the next couple of years so people putting the budget together in the Senate and the House know about how much money they have to spend. Uh, so that's one of our uh, major tasks. And then uh, just to assist the uh, senators on uh, other issues that come up that are uh, important in terms of the financial um, sector uh, side of the, of the budget. So those are our major tasks. And uh, I've been there about 19 years, and it's, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. We keep you very busy. I know that. How many economists do you have in the department? Uh, in our agency, we have, uh, uh, well, there's about three, three or four economists. There's, mm -hmm. there's two of us that work full time as economists. Mm -hmm. Our director, Gary Olson, is a former economist, a yes. senior economist at the Senate Fiscal Agency. So he has an econ background too. And there's a couple other analysts that have econ backgrounds. We've um, had David Zinn on our program in the past, very learned gentlemen. Um, yes. Is he a, an economist as well? Yes, he works with me and uh, we do uh, work side by side every day and uh, work on primarily about the same things, um, but he's an excellent economist too. And I have to say I know that all of you share ideas and thoughts and if, if for example I can't reach David, uh, we'd be able to probably reach you or even Jay Wortley. I just want um, my constituents to know how readily accessible you are. There isn't a bill that comes before us that we don't typically have a fiscal analysis on its impact. Even if there's no fiscal impact, we are given that information. So that, that is a large part of the work that you do. But also, I know senators like myself are constantly calling with fiscal type questions. And sometimes we ask you to go further and analyze data that has been given to us for its veracity and reliability. Um, 
that's a kind of, if you will, credibility and trust I have in the services offered by the Senate Fiscal Agency. So yes, I rely on you a great deal in my role as a state senator, but also as chair of the Senate Finance Committee. Like just today, you were in our committee and you did a tremendous job uh, with an overview of our Michigan tax structure and tax expenditures. And uh, it promoted quite a lively conversation. So again, um, I just laud your agency and the helpfulness and assistance you give me and my senators. I'd also like to mention, as you have touched on, the importance of looking ahead and making projections. And twice a year, the Senate Fiscal Agency does what we call consensus revenue estimating. And that comes out as a conference along with the state treasurer, the director of the House Fiscal mm -hmm. Agency, and your director, Gary Olson, who's director of Senate Fiscal Agency. And we just had one of those conferences in the spring in May. But you're constantly updating that data as well. Um, and I, I see that as a very important uh, role that you play. Right now, and I'll ask you to explain a little bit about this, we are in the midst of budget deliberations. And I have to say and share with my audience that I'm here in Lansing, uh, and it's already about quarter to five on a Thursday. And we are uh, out of session, but going back into session in about another 45 minutes. And because of the real caliber of the discussions along uh, the, along the uh, issue of the budgets, we will probably be here pretty late this evening. And so therefore, I think you might be too. <laughs> but you uh, and the agency help set what is known as budget targets. Uh, maybe they haven't been fully set yet. But explain a little bit, if you could, how we go through the process of um, setting the budget and being sure that we are pretty, pretty confident that they will uh, be in line and balance with the overall revenues mm -hmm. that are coming into the state through our major taxes. Okay. Um, well, as you said, we, we meet twice a year and have a consensus revenue conference. And that, the, the, the goal of that conference is to, between the Senate Fiscal Agency, the House Fiscal Agency, and the Treasury Department, to come up with a, a consensus agreement on how much revenues are going to be. We do our own est estimates individually, independently, mm -hmm. and then we get together and compare mm -hmm. notes and, um, and we try and come up with a, an, ag an agreement that we can all feel comfortable with in terms of how much revenue will be available. So once we've done that, and by the way, I think that's a great process mm -hmm. to get the three agencies together. It's just a, it's a wonderful process, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. um, I think it serves the mm -hmm. Senate and the House very well. Um, but once then we have the, the official estimates on revenue, then the Senate and the House know how much we have to spend. Right. And so they come up with their, uh, their individual ideas on how much should be spent in the various budget areas, and, and they pass budgets. They pass budgets in the House, and they pass budget bills in the Senate. And then they trade their bills. Oh, over. And, mm -hmm. and, um, and then once each House has passed budgets, there's going to be some disagreements. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some differences in the budget bills. Um, one side wants to spend a little more here, and the other side wants to spend a little more in another area. And so at that point in time, the leadership gets together to set what we call budget targets mm -hmm. 